What's up guys, this is the Rifleman and I am back bringing you to the next episode of my Napoleon Total War Let's Play as Great Britain. So to run off where we left off last time, we are hoping to replicate the success of our previous ambush against this new force, however it's significantly larger and significantly more experienced. So let's get to it. Um, all fronts, and I'm tempted to deploy my artillery at the head of the column, because it feels like that they would probably have a better uh, angle of fire from that position. And yes, I'm just hoping... So my plan will be to try and have my infantry on the flanks, which I'm to try to have infantry everywhere, but wherever my weakest point will be. Okay, so... Ooh. Okay, actually, my artillery may be better served. Because here has the problem of this middle ridge line. Um, so at least here it's got a good view of everything. But then again, it's not on a little... It's not on a hill. Damn this weather, sir. Wet powder makes misfires a certainty. Maybe up here. I want it to be slightly on a rise. And over here I'll have to do, I suppose. Or I could separate them. So one going here over here. One up here. Firing straight ahead at the column. And then let's put So those two both to put next to each other. So let's pick you and put you. Small rise. Okay, so on this flank, I am going to put my Highlander units. Oh, I need to actually make. Oh, I might have to split these up into a uh, three to go around the left hand side of this rise, and a two to go around the right hand side of this rise. I'll deploy my foot infantry on the other side, probably in a similar sort of fashion. Three here. Two on this side. I'll probably have my King's German Legion leading up from the head of the column. And then let's put a unit of light infantry here to help threaten them and I'm hoping that we can force them to break towards this direction okay go the group formation oh wow to the left of center on the battle control panel brings up a set of standard formations that can save you time and effort Barrage. Mouse over each formation to see what it does. Canister shot. Mr. Shot, Barrage, good god, these poor souls, where are my Dragoons? Get you guys out of square, form up to engage, you guys stay in square because you're going to suck up a lot of, nope. Wow, these guys are not going to last, no, you guys stay back. You limber up.
kept my get my cavalry over here and hopefully try to smash into the back of this line. for my general. So let's try form some sort of semblance of a battle line. So maybe push you guys back like that. These guys can then get out of formation and form up. I'm not surprised. Let's just put my general back up here. You're going to be well out of it for the rest of the game, so let's deploy you here. Infantry back more here. And limber. Advance up. This is their very experienced Swiss line infantry. Let's bring my cavalry back here. Barrage again. Boy, we've got them in a hell of a cauldron now, boys. Keep the barrage going. Fall back, damn your eyes. Good. Troops moving towards John Moore. Advance up. Do you know so I go how I went really quiet for a while? Halt. You chase off that musketeer unit. You come after that foot. No, you come over here. This is where the bulk of their effort is. Chase them down. You gun down that unit. You well, don't gun down that unit. Just kill him. You guys spin around. Face this new threat. Halt the artillery fire. No, I get a round shot and keep plowing into this unit of grenadiers. Dodgy for a moment there, but we got him. Okay, let's just limber you up to save any hustle. Chase after that Union Musketeers now, because 242 of them, there's only 79 of them. You continue to chase them down. You all. 
get after these grenadiers. Halt all artillery fire. You chase after a musketeer unit. You hold fire. You chase down that horse artillery unit. Guard mode off, so you can chase them down. All my cavalry is being utilised. Absolutely continue. Maybe at a slightly faster speed now. Sir John Moore, Battle General. Good, make sure everyone's getting kills. So your best chance is probably up here. Someone's running. Go get that gun crew. Because these guys are going to make it. And there's only 22 of them, so I'm not bothered. The dragoons are done. Chase down that horse crew. That gun crew, yeah, they're going to execute them all. Perfect. Go help Sir John Moore. You have no one to chase, so you may as well come up here with the general as well. And then my dragoons have got the... Okay, manually run them around my artillery. Then go get him. Everyone else is on this Prussian infantry unit. There they are. These Prussian swine. God, for such a funky de deployment right off the bat, that worked quite well. We got him. Got him. Not everyone is after this last, these this last group of Prussians. The men are fatigued, sir, and must rest a while. No, they're fine. They're slaughtering the last of their enemies. Uh, again, close. Was that close? I really don't think so. It was those poor King's German Legion units that just had to take the entire brunt of the attack? Yes, yeah, so we did lose a good chunk of men, mainly from those King's German Legion units who are very depleted. But we've caused significant casualties to August von Neisenau, and they have now 300 men remaining, effectively the equivalent of one infantry company. Ooh, now we are being attacked at Tyrol. So we've only got six pounders, they've got, they've got six pounders. Cool, it's a nice defensive battle for Alexander Abercrombie. And it provides us an interesting opportunity to destroy the garrison at Innsbruck. Arthur Schopenhauer. All truth passed through three states. First, it is ridiculed. Second, it is violently opposed. Third, it is being accepted as being self evident. Yeah, which point are we for climate change? We're either in one or two for a, a, an annoyingly large majority. An annoyingly large minority. Okay, it's just. Do, do, okay, town defense. So, how do I want to do town defense? How do I want to do town defense? Let's get one of my light infantry units inside this house. Well, then they can't fully occupy it. Damn this weather, sir. Wet powder makes Neither this fire a certainty. No one really can. Okay. So I think I'm still going to probably put my artillery up out here. So I might just make one big battery. So it suffers from range problems. But they've got a reinforcing army who should be coming from over that direction. So let's put the fusiliers on our left. To 
towards the town, but not in there. Do you want to be? No, I don't know. Do you want to defend the town? Because I always find this is, this, it just feels like a, for me, it, it always feels like a bit of a horrific waste of firepower. Defending inside the town like that. Because you end up not utilising your the firepower of the infantry you have to their maximum level. So let's do that. Three, four, five. This is, where this is this is quite advantageous this is because as they're maneuvering through the town my guys I get to pour maximum firepower onto them without suffering from without suffering from too much um, fire myself so I'm gonna put these guys in the dead ground ahead of my line oh, that's not really dead ground I think I definitely do want to do this, at least, in front of my artillery, because when they all crouch down. And maybe you... In the woods. So you're all deployed, and then let's keep... Two units of infantry behind the artillery to protect them. Uh, Zars on the left, general in the centre-ish. Yeah, they're coming over from this corner. So what's the range on my artillery? My measly six pounders all the way here. And they're still reasonably, reasonably far distance, but still not as good as it could be. Here come the dragoons. These are lancers. Lancers, lancers. Six pound of horse artillery. More horse artillery. Swiss grenadiers. We didn't get a good look at Swiss grenadiers last time. They look pretty good. These are Prussian fusiliers. They look pretty good. That's the 10th Lightfoot. So, skirmish infantry. So my guys at least on the left have a benefit of this hill providing them some sort of artillery protection. But similarly as they crest the hill I've got full ability to pound them with my own artillery. And this unit I feel sorry for because he will pass into sights first. So they all start to take the brunt of my artillery fire. Let's see how they do. Oh god. Not bad. But I'm going to pick the right hand most unit to target the lancers. Maybe the two right hand most ones to target the lancers. Cavalry is always a really nice target. Okay, let's start to do some independent targeting. So, left hand most battery against the Swiss Grenadiers, you against them, you against them, and the right hand most against this Lancy unit coming around on the flank. Let's just let the pounding happen for a one minute. And then, when we start to get into position, when the artillery starts to get within range, then I want to concentrate fire. Well, I was about to say concentrate fire on them. Well, that seems like that might be a bad idea. So, this unit will hit them. This unit will hit them when they become in, get in range. And these guys are both going to barrage. Because the artillery is at their most vulnerable when it's limbered up like this. 
let's barrage that. There you go. It's two guns or two units already destroyed. All units destroyed. All of my guns focus fire this artillery unit, which is formed up horrifically. Alright, I'm gonna have to. You canister. That unit of lancers. You canister unit. That unit of. There I go. You canister unit. That unit of lancers. Good, you do round shot. That unit of horse artillery. You get back to round shot. Hit that unit of horse artillery. Somewhere in the mist is my battle line. Now, these guys will route soon. These guys will get their guns back up to their shoulders and fire. Swiss Grenadier unit. Let's pull back my light infantry. This is elite, isn't it? This is elite artillery as well. Hit the fusiliers. Good lads, poor swines running into a field of field artillery unit. Six pounders, they're, they're out of range, so we should be safe. I'm tempted to pivot these chaps to pour some fire because the main line of advance seems to be straight at me. These guys might cause me some trouble, but I will spin my line back around. Let's pick. Actually, I might separate these out. Soon. These two guys keep firing round shot on my horse artillery. These guys fire round shot at their infantry. There we go. First opening musket fires, the 43rd Regiment of Foot, British Royal Royal British Fusiliers. The Prussians won't stand a chance. They're out they've, There's too much firepower. It's the 60 seconds time to push my flank, so. Let's redeploy you two to take that into account. And let's provide some artillery support. Is that unit of guns routing? No, it's the Prussian lights routing. These guys have two guns remaining.
Okay, cavalry. Enemy general has been killed. Oh my artillery focus on the short range threat because I heard a bayonet charge. Something's plugged in and out, so it could be my hard drive. And it was my hard drive. I'm just yeah, I need to replace any it was an external hard drive, I need to replace it really. Okay, let's pull let's bring one of my units of reserves into the mix and fall back. Let's bring my cavalry over on this flank. This force guards are committing. Good square. It's unfortunate you guys are going into square towards them. So it's out of square immediately. Same with you. Because the ones on the left round shot the unit of Swiss Grenadiers, the units on the right round shot. This unit of guns again. Still alive. No, go for those. They're the easy target. And barrage. Fire off your shots as fast as possible. Because that would be great. Square formation for the gap. I missed. The, no, we got one. No, we got one horse team. Okay, let's begin our counter advance. These dragoons are not going to last. Soon break. Pre the mere presence of my cavalry was enough to cause you to. Okay, let's go now. Go out here, then up here. Shoot the hell out of their square. Because here are their reinforcements entering the field. form new battle line a very depleted one in some respects and begin to threaten well start to advance Kingdom of Prussia Foot Musketeers. Come on, Aurora British Fusiliers. Ok, 
Okay, these guys should all be reloaded. Let's pivot this line. No, right here. I'd like to go have a shot of those guns, but... Good, so now these lines can afford to be a bit deeper. Now's the time to throw these chaps into the mix. Where's my light infantry? Let's get you up here. Reinforcement troop. light infantry just to go around the flank. Alexander Abercrombie moving up. Nope, don't go. Don't commit. It'd be nice to kill them, but right now I'm weakening. I want to weaken their force more than explicitly destroying it. Smash straight into that. Hit that gun team. They're too they're too elite to be left on. In which case it's retarget my artillery. out of the protective cover of our artillery. Alexander Abercrombie can follow up. Go hit that unit of musketeers out on the flank, and then it'll run you away from danger. Run, 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 run. These chaps want to engage those Prussians. Present. The outer unit's gone first. Okay, now go chase down the gap. Okay, this is, yeah, this line's gonna extend way too far in this direction. The artillery all wants to go here. Yeah, my light infantry is not going to get involved. So, toggle skirmish mode, and you go after that Prussian garrison unit. Just flee, push out, push out, push out, away, away, away. Oh no, they're wavering. If you can make them route. There you 
go. And my general bravely shouts the battle cry, Abercrombie! shoot any of the horses so they're under fire everyone else is routing this sounds like a lovely day for me don't know uh, don't bother with armed citizenry good man Abercrombie no I absolutely do want to just shoot at so you already established they're better in melee than my guys. Good man. Okay, try join that garrison. Continue for sure. May as well run them after them now, at least. Some of my Uzars are charging them down. Oh, there's a unit that's come back. Just the mob of the armed citizenry. So I'm not anticipating great challenges. Well, you know what? No challenges. Guard mode off. Run them down. Ah, Abercrombie has finished his charge. Go after that musketeer garrison, in which case just make my men run away and leave them alone. Is there even a unit? There is a unit here. Good. My men might be able to actually catch them up. They caught up with some of them. Definitely not making that. Yeah, and they're going to probably get away. We will if we run after them as slowly as that. And stop. <laughs> Okay, so it's all on these guys. My hussars have a straight line in. My general not quite. Oh, will they make it? No, oh, just. Oh, they got some of them. Ah. Still, that was with Sir John Moore, and the way into Innsbruck is open. Nine engines and 29 lost for four, almost 4,000 Prussians. That garrison is broken. We will need a few more such battles. I'm gonna. We, we effectively fought that a minute ago. Is ours. We do have many. I do want to reinforce Wellesley's position because right now he is alone. Right, okay, so. Right now he is alone, with no support. Where's my next general? George Dreiberg! You back up Wellesley, because there is a fear, if they punch this way, that they will... They might cause me to run out of ammunition. So I may wish to pull you back to here. 
in order to begin replenishing in Strasbourg. So you want my skip manufactory? Well, I've just wasted four turns there. Um, Okie dokie. So you hit Innsbruck and secure it for the British Empire. And we will occupy. Do that. Build some walls because I'm anticipating some unhappiness that this is ours. And we also have Venice. And Venice is building walls and will want a drill school, absolutely. But it, can, it has yet to be able to recruit artillery. So you go to Venice. You get a court of justice, and also you can't recruit artillery, neither can you. Go all the way back to Paris to recruit artillery. So it's... No, no. Nope. Just recruit a bunch of nine pounders and start to disperse them. Because these would be going all the way down to Venice. Uh, the Papal States. Are we trading with the Papal States? We are not, and they will not let us. Wurttemberg doesn't like us, despite the fact they exist solely due to our discretion. Oh, this Russian pocket's going to be a bit of a frustrating one. Bob Crawford is going to be attacking Cleves imminently. Henry Clinton was waiting for a little bit more replenishment. So these three, four units should be done. There'll be one unit of weak infantry and one weaker unit of, of cavalry. Unit of artillery. Who was I going to? Crawford, I suppose. Cool. Ah, yes. And you had moved up to here. But not to capture it, I'd wager. So if I move, if I move Michael Stowell out of Hanover, and instead recruit a bit of a garrison or attempt to, I will then also maintain siege of Kessel. So we can kill Cleves, Kessel, and hopefully Aldenburg imminently. Actually, you are. Quite You've got depleted units, I see. Depleted artillery. You're not sure about your cavalry. So you are going to try and infiltrate Berlin. Damn. Got some musketeers. Lots of fresh troops. That would be my, my guess. But you have a severe problem coming from the south from Innsbruck. Because obviously the next target will be Munich. And the next target from Venice will be Vienna. But I'd very much like to fortify Vienna and not get too crazy. Yeah, so Tyrol is captured. Yeah, let's get Reims to allow them to build new infantry. So great good news. And then let's also go back to England. Ooh, let's get 15th Hussars. We only have one of them. And then let's get a unit of Dragoon Guards and a unit of uh, Light Dragoons. And let's get two Howitzer units. Two, three, four. A bunch of artillery. Start to build cold streamers, Connor. Oh, let's get a unit of Connor Rangers, and then let's get another army on the go. Because right now we are stable, but that is it. Let's get some replenishment on these ships. So Henry Clinton is reinforcing. I think in our next part it will be the assault of Cleves. But looking at the timer, we that is definitely the end of this part. So. Thanks for watching guys, hope you've enjoyed, and we'll see you next time for the continued adventures of the British Empire.